Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for the 7 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the plastic limit and the liquid limit of soil. These two are the important limits used in the soil mechanics. So, first to explain the plastic limit and then the liquid limit. To explain this, I will try to explain this with the help of figure. Let's consider this is the XY graph and which X axis shows the water content. And the y axis shows the volume of the soil, soil mass. So, there are different stages of the soil. When soil in solid state, so this is the first stage of the soil. When this soil is in solid state, we don't put any water in the soil mass. So, the soil is without any water, we call it the solid state of the soil mass. After that, we eat some water. So, we call this stage of the water is the semi solid. Semi solid. After that, we add more water to the solid, which the soil the soil becomes the plastic now. Plastic means in plastic state, which means that the soil is now enough workable. You can work work with the soil because of the addition of more water. So first was the solid, there was no water. When we add some water, we call get the semi solid. It behaves like a solid and like a less liquid. But in plastic state, it behaves to be more workable than the semi solid and solid. Now, by addition of more water, what we get, we get the liquid state of the soil, which is the liquid state of the soil. The solid is the soil is not now not now in solid state or semi solid state, but the soil mass now flows like a liquid, like a water. So these are the different states of water. By increasing the water content here, you get the liquid state from solid state to the liquid state. So now what is the difference between the plastic limit and the liquid limit? The plastic limit, first to define the plastic limit. The plastic limit is the limit of the soil is the moisture content at which the soil begins to behave as a plastic material. So this is the plastic limit of the soil. We represent by WP, which shows the plastic limit. This is the plastic limit. So this is the moisture content at this moisture content. Before this moisture content, it will act as a semi-solid. But at this moisture content, the soil begins to behave as a plastic material. What does it mean? The plastic material means it is a state at which where it can do work, where it can be workable enough to be molded in any shape. So this is the moisture content at which the soil begins to plastic. And then increasing the water water up to this amount, up to this distance, and increasing the water content up to this portion, we still have in plastic state. Now, what is the liquid limit now? So liquid limit is the moisture content at which the soil begins to behave as a liquid. Now at this content, the your liquid, your soil mass begins to behave as a liquid material. Here in this stage, your soil behaves as a plastic material. So it is the moisture content in case of the liquid limit at which the soil begins to behave as a liquid. So this is the limit, ultimate limit of the soil mass by adding more water from the plastic state, it changes, it changes. And at this point, which is the maximum limit, if this is the moisture content, at which if you add more water, you will get the soil in a liquid state. So we call this liquid is the WA, is the liquid limit. The plastic limit is always less than the liquid limit. Or we can say the liquid limit is always greater than the plastic limit. Because the plastic is first, we achieve first the plastic limit and then we achieve the liquid limit. And the difference between these two is called the plasticity index. Liquid limit minus plastic limit, we get a ratio we call it the plasticity index. Plasticity index is usually represented in percentage. And this whole diagram is the Utterberg limit. Utterberg limit is known as the Utterberg limit. And this graph shows that what are the different stages in the soil mass. The first one is the solid. The other one is after adding some water content, by increasing the water content, we change the phase of the soil. This is semi-solid and after this we get the plastic limit and after adding more water we get the liquid state of the 
soil, which is no more soil, but it flows like a liquid. Hope you guys understand the basic concept of the plastic limit and the liquid limit and also the Etterberg limit, which shows the different stages of the soil by adding the water content. And that was all about today. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you.